All right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day here in the end times in the paradise of Garfield, Texas here on... We have made it to uh, Wednesday, October 10th, 2018. I have been out weeding my garden all day on this beautiful day, and now I'm thinking about finding the energy to go to a potluck to join my clueless, lovable friends on this beautiful fall evening. But before I do, I just need to uh, plow on ahead with uh, part two of today's Doomer headlines. And actually, guys, you know, I've been so bogged down in this new IPCC report for the UN the past two or three days that I have just been putting on the back burner all of the other various ways that this planet is, is going directly down the fucking toilet with, with, with no help from climate change, nowhere mentioned in the, in the UN report uh, or any of the other ways that this planet is fucked if climate change was nowhere on the radar. P people have some weird fantasy that climate change is the only thing killing this planet. And uh, so while good for the mainstream media for at least taking climate change seriously, we're going to look at a few other headlines uh, and whatnot that at least the mainstream media is somehow finding uh, time to mention uh, as we go down the toilet and there's so much stuff here guys I'm I'm uh, not gonna have time to get very deep into any of this It's pretty much gonna be the headline and move on so, <coughs> before we start dive into the mainstream media I'm gonna open up my email box to find a petition a petition from the friends of the earth to stop to stop the rape and pillage of West Africa by the palm oil uh, giants by signing a petition. <clears throat> so just in case you're not a, what the petition is all about, <clears throat> the newest petition to save the planet, a palm oil company in the shithole country of Liberia is driving deforestation wildlife habitat destruction, and human rights violations in some of the most dense rainforests left in West Africa. These forests are home to chimpanzees, hippos, and communities who have lived and worked there for generations. But these planet eaters are actively destroying these forests. Hmm. Imagine that. So what we're all going to do is we're going to sign a petition and ask the palm oil industry, please don't move in to Africa. Caution detected. Take precautions. Okay, so now it's time to dive in. I don't know if the big wobble is uh, part of the mainstream media uh, or not. But just in case you missed this news, tipping point breached. Monarch butterflies have a 95% decline since 1980s in North America and two-thirds of all animals will be extinct in two years. No shit, Sherlock. You know, tracking this, uh, this study that We've been talking about for years that by the year 2020, that two-thirds of all animals on this planet will be, will have been, will be annihilated uh, by humans. Okay. Wow. Never would have understood this. Brazil's Bolsonaro far right wins a victory far more sweeping and dangerous than anyone predicted and its lessons are 
global. And if you miss my interview with uh, our Alert Tribes member, uh, Jay from Brazil yesterday, guys, I anyone not understanding what just went down in Brazil, th this is uh, a an environmental story every bit as big as the IPCC report barely being mentioned. Uh, the the all-out war that is being declared against the Amazon rainforest and the Cerrado and the Pantanal, the, the single most important <coughs> biodiverse Garden of Eden left on this planet is under direct assault. Uh, the, the Amazon jungle is the most fucked it has ever been, and as goes the Amazon, so goes Brazil. As goes Brazil, so goes the planet. This motherfucker is going to make Donald Trump and Duterte uh, look like uh, Sancho Panza by comparison. We are fucked. Make no mistake about what this means for this planet. Okay. NASA wants to save humanity from death by super volcano. <coughs> there, there's two problems with this. There is no way to deflect a super volcano and humanity will be long dead and gone by the time Yellowstone super volcano explodes. All right. Why is it taking my computer so long for every goddamn headline to uh, to show up here? What the fuck is going on? Uh, anyway, I guess we're just going to not have time for that story because my uh, computer just ate it. All right. Let's go over to Time Magazine. <clears throat> the Trump administration has escalated its conflict with China even further. No shit, Sherlock. Here is what needs to happen to stay out of war. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. What needs to happen to uh, stay out of war with China is, uh, well, I would say what needs to happen, but I don't need to lose my YouTube channel. Okay, and the other story is back, so I'm going to get a little bit out of line, uh, out of order here. Imagine me getting out of line. Scientists call for microbial Noah's Ark to protect global health. Planet-wide loss of microbiota diversity is a health threat comparable to climate change. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Okay. Let's see. What is going on? We were just talking about uh, Trump starting World War III with China, and let's just talk about uh, Donald Trump declaring war on the planet. I don't have time to get into this, to this full rant. Uh, you'll have to do your own research if you don't know why this is a doomer headline. Trump boosts high ethanol gasoline as he courts Iowa farm voters. No shit, Sherlock. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, uh, if you have not bought your stock in Monsanto, well, I guess Monsanto is now technically Bayer. Uh, this is what this is, is Donald Trump uh, giving a present 
to his billionaire buddies making Roundup. Uh, but my computer, I have so many headlines to go over. My computer, I have so many windows open that my computer has just frozen up. Uh, so what I'm going to do, since there is too much doom and gloom, for literally too much doom and gloom for my computer to handle, guys, I'm just going to simply go down and read the headlines. Where worry? Okay, American farmers are the unsung environmentalist, and they're and they're not talking about organic farmers. This is the Washington Times talking about how big agriculture, such as the uh, all of Trump's. Buddies, uh, you, you know, spewing hundreds of millions of tons of herbicide all over uh, America are America's environmentalist, and and the story actually said that the big ag are better environmentalists than organic farmers. Okay, Taiwan leader calls on China to not be, quote, a source of conflict. Detected. Take precautions. China, would you please not be a source of conflict? Okay, I think I've mentioned this before, although I swear I remember another city the latest forecast, Jakarta, Indonesia, will topple Tokyo as world's biggest city by the year 2030. And if anybody does not understand why that is a doomer headline, don't have time to explain it to you now. Okay, let's go over there to the shit old country of England. These men staged a peaceful protest against fracking. The UK jailed them. No shit, Sherlock. But, uh, of course, we have the response to all of these protests by the frackers in uh, England. UK fracker shrugs off shutdown risk, seeing need for more gas. No shit, Sherlock. You know, talking about um, how fracking is ramping up in England, and anyone who tries to stand in the way will be thrown in prison. Uh, over to the shit all country of France, good for France, Mars, how do you pronounce M A R S E I L L E, Marseille or Marseille, puts American cruise ship captain on trial over pollution as ports grapple with cruise ship traffic. Yes, I don't need to get into. Okay, in case you're unaware of this. We have a coming water security crisis approaching the planet. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. Well, you tell me, speaking of water crisis, is this good news? Turkey agrees to release, release more water from new dam to ease Iraqi water shortage. If anybody who does not understand what water wars look like. Okay, and anyone who doesn't understand what the global food crisis looks like, North Korean food supply still precarious as donors stay 
away. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, and more and more of the planet is getting sick and tired of feeding uh, the, these goddamn countries uh, who go who go right on breeding uh, like it's the day after the fucking plague ended, and and just expect uh, all of these other countries to uh, feed them. Okay, all right. Let's go over to Poland for this recurring end times headline. Hundreds of birds drop dead from the sky. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, over to the shithole country of Canada. Wow, we have a big explosion and a fire at Canada's largest oil refinery. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. Denmark, there's a country we don't hear much from in doomsday headlines. The shit all country of Denmark wants food labels to include environmental impact. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. So they want every single food label to talk about how eating this type of food is killing the planet. Uh, I found no particular mention of palm oil uh, anywhere in the story. Uh, yes. Okay, we have two uh, investigations to wildfires in California. One of the big ones was sparked by a vehicle's catalytic converter you know, those pollution control devices set off a uh, set off a wildfire that sent as much pollution into the air as about 20 million cars do in a year. And the other one was power lines sparking, uh, causing another massive wildfire, otherwise known as humans causing wildfires. Okay, guys, I, I'm just gonna spend my my 90 seconds here. How many women will Brett Kavanaugh hurt as a Supreme Court Justice? And I was thrilled to find on Facebook, you know, Humpty Dumpty Tribe, uh, we are now on Facebook and Twitter, and, and I was thrilled Finally, that that someone came up with the with the no shit Sherlock cartoon of Mother Earth, of Gaia, uh, you, you know, holding up a Me Too sign at uh, at Brett Kavanaugh. There is one female uh, on this planet uh, that we need to be concerned about, Brett. Kavanaugh raping, and that is Mother Earth. It, it is not some 16-year-old girl uh, that he fucking dry-humped uh, 30, 35 years ago. Get the fuck over it, okay? It, it is this planet that this evil motherfucker rapist has been raping and pillaging since the day he got on uh, the bench. Uh, Center for Biological Diversity is the only person nowhere in the mainstream media are you hearing about uh, Brett Kavanaugh's uh, abysmal environmental record. The guy is a fucking Mother Earth raping planet eater. Uh, the, the Supreme Court is a hell of a lot more stacked with Mother Earth rapist than it ever has been. The guy is an evil fucking scumbag and it has nothing to do uh, w w w with, some, uh, with some girl he dry humped uh, in high school. Pull your fucking heads out of your asses. Uh, you, you, you know? And, and don't get me wrong, uh, Brett Kavanaugh needs to have his fucking balls cut off
I've, I've heard so much, uh, too much about that, uh, about that motherfucker. It's time to put this to rest. Unbelievably, unbelievable. Uh, this headline, U.S. bans new mining claims on public land near Yellowstone. I am absolutely flabbergasted. And we, that, uh, unbelievably, uh, the Department of the Interior, I believe, doing its job. Okay, let's head over to the Clueless Moron Roundup headline to close out ways we're so fucked. Pope Francis compares having an abortion to, quote, hiring a hitman. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. That's kind of like a, uh, a radical vegan claiming somebody who eats three ounces of beef once every eight years is no different than someone who only beats their children a few times a year. Okay, get your tickets now. Bill and Hillary Clinton launch their new U.S. tour and tickets are not cheap for the Bill and Hillary show. No shit, Sherlock. I think I remember before this story saying that Bill and Hillary, uh, according to one estimate, have racked up more than $150 million since, uh, from speaking fees since getting out of the White House. My guess is it's much higher than that. Okay. You'll never, let's go to the shithole country of Detroit. Big promises for a thriving urban core in Detroit vanish in a swath of parking lots. No shit, Sherlock. This uh, story looking at, you know, all of this, uh, these big plans for redeveloping the shithole city of Detroit into some mecca for these fucking beautiful people. It's just, it, it is the, it is a goddamn wasteland. Okay. What's going on over there in the shithole country of Thailand? Wow. Thai official suspended after being caught with bear cat carcasses and guns. Not even sure what a bear cat is. Uh, you, you know, this is uh, coming right on it. You know, mention this other guy who is this other high ranking government official in Thailand, uh, you know, busted for killing that black leopard inside a national park and just let go, as this guy will be. Okay, what's going on in the shithole city of? Bogota, Colombia. Bogota implores tourists to stop feeding the pigeons. Talking about uh, how the pigeons completely overtaking Colum Bogota. But we're going to finish with two stories about the newest royal wedding. Who is Jack? Brookbank, the wine merchant fiancé of Princess Eugenie. That is all we need to know. Okay, but we're going to, I'm going to let you use your own imagination. Five places Princess Eugenie definitely will not go on her Honeymoon. Yes. Five places the little princess will not be going. 
on her honeymoon. But I'm going to wrap up uh, today's Doomer headlines right here and uh, decide whether or not I have the energy to uh, climb in my gas-sucking truck to go to this potluck with my clueless, lovable friends. You might remember uh, last time I went, I ended up staying five minutes. Maybe I'll remember to bring my harmonicas this time and uh, so I can stick a harmonica in my mouth so I don't have to uh, go off on some sort of uh, rant. Let me tell you how many of these doomsday headlines will be talking about at the, uh, we talked about at the potluck tonight. Of course, we might hear about Brett Kavanaugh, but I guarantee you that Mother Earth will be nowhere in the conversation about Brett Kavanaugh being a rapist. The first time I hear the words Brett Kavanaugh at this fucking potluck, I'm getting in my gas sucking truck and heading back to Garfield and climbing back on pile of fish to descend deeper into existential despair. Spoken if you got him, we are so fucked. Bye guys.